Till you start, fear not. As easy as eating a donut. Moving away from the curb and starting to drive on a flat road is very easy. Not many people struggle with that. Okay, so we are parked on the side of the road and this is a flat road. Very easy, no issues. We go through the usual sequence. So, checking all around the car. Okay, everything is clear, great. Preparing the car first by pressing the brake. Change the gear to D. Putting the handbrake down. Checking the rear view mirror. Checking the right mirror. Putting the right indicator on for at least five seconds. Shoulder check to the right and moving off from the car. Well, that was very easy, but the problem is that not all roads are flat. And you have to do hill start at some point. The hill start is also one of the maneuvers that the examiners might ask you to do in your practical driving test. So let's deal with this challenge head on. Okay, we pull over here and this is a hilly road. So now we have parked on the side of the road and it's the hilly road and we want to start driving. I'll just leave everything to you. Let's start driving please. Okay, so as you notice we are rolling back and that's because we are on top of a hill. Let's cancel the indicator and stop the car. Okay, so moving off on a hill is a different story because we have gravity and the gravity is pulling us back. And if we roll back before moving off, there might be a car behind us and we might hit them and that's obviously dangerous. We want to stop that from happening. There is an easy way to stop the car from rolling back simply by putting the handbrake up and that's when we use the hill start technique okay i'll just talk you through this step by step let's do that okay let's check all around the car everything is clear perfect okay now push the brake changing the gear to d keeping your right hand on the steering wheel your left hand on the handbrake your right foot on the accelerator great gently press the accelerator just to get the head of the car up so as you can see the back of the car is going down the head of the car is coming up we need to have this lifting feeling we keep the same pressure on the accelerator now pull up the handbrake press the button and don't release the handbrake now check in the rear view mirror Check in the right mirror, put in the right indicator on for at least 5 seconds, shoulder check to the right, releasing the handbrake and pushing the accelerator more. So we drive on this spot and we didn't roll back. Great. We use the hill start technique anytime we drive and we come to a full stop temporarily on a hill. For example, this situation right here. There is a stop sign right on top of the hill. We want to make sure obviously we stop first. And then once we stop putting the handbrake up. Foot on the accelerator. Pressing the accelerator gently to just feel the front of the car is rising. And now, checking the road, no car is coming. Keeping the same pressure on the accelerator. Handbrake down and accelerating more. Beautiful. We didn't roll back. Another situation that you might need to do a hill start is when you stop at a red light on a hilly road, like this one here. 
As soon as you come to a full stop, you want to put your handbrake up and go through the sequence we mentioned earlier. It is very important not to roll back, especially if there are cars stopped behind you. Also, if you stop behind other cars at the traffic lights on a hill, make sure you maintain the safe distance with the front car in case they roll back before moving. And also if you need to stop on top of a hill to give way to other cars, for example at the end of a T intersection like here, that's when you do a hill start again. Just remember that hill start is only for situations where you need to stop on a hill for some reason. For example at this T intersection there is a give way line and because the road is clear we can simply slow down and turn, so hill start is not needed here. Some cars have a foot parking brake instead of a handbrake. The foot brake is a little pedal which is located somewhere around here. Hill starts in cars with foot brakes is exactly the same as cars with handbrakes. When you come to a full stop at the red traffic light for example, push the foot parking brake with your left foot to engage it and then when you are ready to move off, push it again to release it. And if your car has a brake hold function, all you need to do is to press the brake hold button when you stop on top of a hill and you will see the brake hold lights turn on. This function engages your brakes on the hill. You can then move your foot to the accelerator and when you want to move off, you just need to press the accelerator and by doing that, brake hold gets disengaged. You can either press the brake hold button anytime you come across a hill or just keep it on all the time. And it activates when you push the brake. Hill Start Assist or Hill Hold Control is a mechanism that keeps the brakes engaged for 2-3 to three seconds even after the brake pedal is released. A lot of new model cars have this technology. For example, in Suzuki Swift, the Hill Hold Control stops the car on the hill for 2 seconds when you take your foot off the brake. So if within 2 seconds you press the accelerator, you're not going to roll back and you don't need to do a Hill Start. And if it takes you more than 2 seconds to move your foot to the accelerator and press it, the car still rolls back. During your driving test, any time you roll back on the heels before moving off, you get one mark down. So just make sure if you stop on a steep hill and you think your car might roll back, do a hill start so you don't lose any points. Hill start can be daunting at the beginning for many learners, so practice doing it on quiet streets with slight inclines and then move to steeper hills and finally in traffic on main roads. The key is to practice, practice, practice and stay calm. And last but not least, it's a good idea to turn your wheels away from the curb when you park on a hill. And this is just a safety precaution. This way, in case of brakes failure, your car will roll into the curb and not down the hill. Okay, and that brings us to the end of this video. May you never roll back on any hills and see you at the top.